of change and positive, but it, none of it would be possible without, without your students. So thank you for your participation. Thank you everybody for coming tonight. Please. Uh, Louis Marino, thanks for coming out on that day and helping our students with this survey. Absolutely. Thank and you. And one more thanks to Kubert. If it wasn't for him, none of this would be possible. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. It's all your fault, Mr. Hubert. <laughs> Again. So I think we can uh, let everybody, anyone who wants to stay, can stay for the more mundane matters. We're going to talk about the bridge repairs and those kinds of things. But I uh, want to thank everybody for coming. Well, to keep in mind, only the people that are not civically minded will be leaving now. <laughs> How green these fields are. <laughs> You're you know, literally the housing to see. Yeah. There you go. Ready? Okay, let's go, ladies and gentlemen. We've gone to building community bridges to building bridges. Go for a full house. <laughs> and the full house. <laughs> Okay, so We're down here to... Right now. <laughs> no, actually, let's forget it. Let's forget it. I'm like, only oh, Okay. <laughs> oh, actually... Um, sorry, actually, um, Councilwoman Collins just reminded me we didn't do comments from the public. Any comments from the public? No? Nope. None whatsoever? No comments from the public? <laughs> Thank you, Goldie. <laughs> now, let's, let's do it. John, can you just shut that, the door, please? Just shut the door. Thank you. No, we'll stick to the agenda, Goldie. You go ahead. Are you kidding? <laughs> okay. I like to come, but I don't like to say what I have to say because I like everybody. I mean, <laughs> but I have problems, and it comes from the town of Rye. I'm sorry about that. In Porchester, we have too much off the tax rolls between the nonprofit corporates and the municipal property in a village our size. And that is a big problem for the taxpayers of Porchester, especially veterans, and I'm one of them, senior citizens, disabled people, people who've lost their jobs. A lot of uh, properties are not being sold in Porchester, housing properties, and there's a lot of empty stores on Main Street and Westchester Avenue. There are a lot of problems, and people call me, they stop me in the street and everything else. I said, look, I have the same problems. My house is falling apart. I said, my kids want me out of there, but, and, and the uh, ceiling is down in the living room. I said, look, I've got a big, a lot of problems, but my assessments, like the assessments you're talking about, these people, are too high. I said, we're, 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 uh, um, I think they got vision. Is it vision now that's doing the assessments? Yeah, vision is doing the assessments. They're, they're um, uh, um, putting us together by um, uh, inches or whatever it is. Um, Ever it is, but they don't take into consideration age, condition, and location. We are an antique community. We were in the town of Rye when it first started. We were um, saw pits in, at that time. We didn't become a village until May 14, 1868. My house was built in 1920. I mean, it's, it's a horror story we're at the corner of and all of the noise and everything that get, we get into the house. I've got broken windows and, 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 and cracked walls and everything. And I can't do anything about it. I've got a life estate right now. I'm in there and my, my kids have the deed because at my age, when I had an accident on uh, 287 going across to the American uh, Red Cross, uh, uh, I said, you know what, at my age, I said, I don't know what's going to happen. So Bonnie uh, and Randy, please take the deed and just help me. I will pay all the expenses because I have a life estate. But I cannot take the taxes. The assessments have to be lowered. And I made an appointment when I got it in the mail with the new uh, assessment uh, to go to Vision 
here, I think it's on May 19th, 20th, 21st, somewhere around there, and, and, and tell them, you can't just do, you can't compare us to anything else, because we're not that way. I said, if you don't take into consideration age, condition, and location, then there are big problems. I'm getting this from people who are struggling to stay in their homes. I'm getting this from seniors, from veterans, from everything. Every place I go, people are telling me how horrible everything is. I said, wait a minute, why don't you come to the meetings and speak out? Well, we can't go at night. We can't go at night. We just can't go at night when the meetings are held at night. I said, okay, I'll try to go as for as long as I can. Me and B. Canetta, we go and we speak out. But nobody does anything because we're only two people in one boat. We can't do anything. But we need help. And uh, I don't know how you can do it, but please help us. Uh, there are a lot of problems. Um, uh, I like what you do with the parks. I like, and I come to the park commission meeting and everything else, but I'm very unhappy, Joe Carvin, that you're running for another place. I mean, that doesn't make sense. You do good here. You do good here, and we need you here. I don't know what's going to happen. Okay, so stay well. Thank you, thank, thank you, thank you, Goldie. Sorry. Thank you, Goldie. Well, the, uh, Goldie, the good, the good news is that without... No, I can't get, get, get to describe the seat. I don't want you to get shocked. The good news is I'll be here for certain until the end of the year, and I'm very hopeful that we'll have our restructuring project well underway by then. But so, what's going to happen after, if you get that other job, what, who's going to fill the place in the park? Well, we'll figure... No, we'll, we'll, don't worry. We've got to get a good... Your, yeah. job. We've, well, we'll, we've got a very good, uh, strong team here, and we'll, we'll, we'll have that covered. But thank you for your comment. Okay. Any other comments from the public? No, but I will just comment that maybe, uh, you know, one of Goldie's concerns is that people find that this time of night might be difficult to get to. So maybe one time, you know, one of our meetings, we could reschedule it for uh, a more convenient time or a different day or something uh, just to can you do it legally open or? that possibility up to other people, sure. see if they'll come out or not. Can you do it at 6 o'clock? Well, I'll tell you, uh, why don't we do this? Uh, why don't we, uh, you and I, uh, plan on going to the senior center? Uh, and making a, a visit to the senior center, both senior centers. Sure, we'll over go the to them. Couple of weeks and, uh, and 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 do that. And then, if there's still a need for a, a Saturday meeting or something like that, we can show them for that. It's an excellent suggestion. Good. Okay. Uh, so, moving right along, then let's get to the uh, real bridges. Oh, I got it. Look at this. Mr. DiCrescenzo is pulling out all the social media high-tech stuff. <laughs> Dave, are you all set? Did you me for uh, Professor Tobin? Is he still going? John, if we could just turn that around so the camera could pick up some of that information. Maybe just put it flat against the wall, it'll be okay. They have everything in the package. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, Tom. Can everybody see that? Yeah. Okay. Has everybody read the report? Any any questions on the report? Any questions? On the report? Sorry. Sorry. That's okay. We're dealing with temperature here. Can you give us the highlights, the John? Okay. Uh, the Jefferson Avenue uh, bridge replacement project has uh, been uh, pretty much uh, completed as far as the setup stages. Now it's uh, going into the bid process. We received the bid book, and uh, it's going out to bid. I think it's actually being uh, noticed uh, this Thursday, so... Uh, Hopefully we will uh, be able to go to uh, some kind of contract award in mid to late May, and construction could begin uh, in June of 2012. I'm going to uh, hold off on the South, I mean, well, South Barry Avenue Guyon Creek project is also uh, already in the bid process, 
and where we have some responses and we're waiting for a few more and then the contract should be awarded also in, in uh, mid-May and go to work in June. Where do we stand with our bonding on this? I thought we were supposed to be talking about that tonight. It's the finance team MIA? Yes. Okay. All right. Tax What's that? Tax day. Oh, tax day, right. Okay. I'll hold off briefly on the Otter Creek because we have Adam and Kirby, Kirby here that's going to make the presentation on that uh, project. The Continental Minor Footbridge is uh, getting routine maintenance, which is scheduled for May. Uh, I've uh, discussed in a uh, meeting with the parks foreman, Mr. DeLeo, so that should be taken care of in-house at a very minimal expense. And uh, I met with uh, Mr. Cernoff uh, with the Village of Amaranic to go over the Hillside Avenue Bridge. And the only repairs that are uh, on the table right now are to the sidewalks of that bridge. In the uh, state's reports there, they had cited no reason to replace the structure at this time. So there will be some sidewalk work. Uh, scheduled in uh, 2013, of which uh, we only have to pay a third of one of half the project because part of the damage was caused by the Village of Amaranic equipment. So uh, we don't have to participate in the repair of that sidewalk. And uh, as far as the Solomon Gedney Cemetery, uh, I still have not uncovered concrete information that will tell us that the town is responsible for the enclosure wall, so I don't want to commit uh, town resources or anything until I know for sure. I have to get some more information from the village and also the historian in Mamaronic. Hopefully that will enable me to give you the proper information whether or not we even have to engage in work. Mm -hmm. The wall may not belong to us at all, which I'm hoping. And. Uh, I'd like to introduce uh, Tom Otterman from Otterman Kirby, our uh, consulting engineer, to give you the report on the Otter Creek Bridge and the projects that uh, we have to undertake. Very good. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you, John. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Thanks for coming. Okay. Tom Otterman from Otterman Kirby representing the town. As you know, we, we took a look at the uh, Otter Creek Bridge in May of 2011, uh, New York State Department of Transportation issued a yellow flag on the Otter Creek Bridge, specifically because of uh, one of the approach wing walls was in disrepair. Uh, stones had fallen out, large voids, there was erosion and scour occurring. Uh, if you look in the report that, that you've been handed tonight, you will see uh, pictures that show you specifically. Um, if, I can, if I can point to... This, uh, this map that I brought with me, that wing wall is, let's see, I'm going to get oriented, oh, on the right, it is, it's, it's up here, up on the top side, and that's on the, uh, the conservation side, I think they call it the nature preserve, so Mamaronic Harbor is, is down here, right. and it's specifically the southeast wing wall that's in disrepair. And that's principally why the yellow flag was, was issued. And our recommendation... That, was, that, was that a result of um, what exactly? Was it faulty construction or...? <coughs> well, I think it's, it's really a result was of... relatively recently, right? Yeah, the construction itself on the bridge superstructure, which was renovated in 2003, right. that's all intact. Okay. There are some maintenance items you will see in, in the executive summary, and I'll go through those in a minute. But the bridge proper is of good construction. Okay. Uh, the wing walls that make up the approaches to the bridge, they're the ones that are in question. Now, on the what Mamaroni is a wing wall? I'm sorry, I don't know what a wing wall is. Well, it's basically a retaining wall that keeps the embankment to the approach to the bridge. Ah, okay. The right. bridge is a structure, right. and then the wing walls contain the embankment, which brings you up to it. Got it. Supports the, uh, the roadbed. So the, uh, the wing walls on the Maranick Harbor side are actually in very good shape. And, and I believe that's because there's a more well-defined channel and you have all the tidal waters come in and it fills Otter Creek. And then when tide goes out, all the waters want to rush out, but they're bottlenecked by the bridge itself. And having more of an expansive area on the, uh, on the nature preserve side, you know, we actually get this bottleneck, we get an increase in velocity of the water, and it really attacks those two wing walls, because the southeast one has failed, and the northeast one is in jeopardy of failing. It is tilted, it is leaning, 
Um, I, I predicted it probably has like a three to five year service life, and, and we will be looking at replacing that one also. So the one on the southeast does have to be replaced. In addition to that, if you see the executive summary number six, uh, we talk in terms of some maintenance items. The uh, superstructure, the steel beams being used for the bridge are rusted, so they're going to have to be cleaned and ground or sanded and then treated and painted. Are these order. bridges are 100% uh, us? Yes. Yeah. And that would, uh, you know, to preserve the steel. Also, we have uh, some galvanized steel closure plate on one side, which is terribly rusted, as you can see. Now, that's not a structural issue. It's more of an eyesore, but it can be, again, cleaned, ground, and uh, painted with zinc-rich paint to preserve that. We have some concrete elements where the guardrail is attached to the bridge. We have a lot of cracking and spalling. We should treat that so that, so that the marine environment doesn't further attack the concrete structure and the decking. And then lastly, uh, I mentioned the northeast wall, and I think, I think the board should be mindful that you probably have a three to five year service life on the northeast wing wall, which is currently leaning and twisting and moving around and potentially may fail. Okay, so obviously over the years, the, the existing area, uh, the existing bridge, uh, was probably fine for the, uh, the area for however long it's been up, right? And then given the activity and, uh, and with more use of the area, and it, to no one's fault, uh, you know, you're, when, once you start to, you know, uh, fortify uh, land, right, and you create these embankments all the way around, it's, it's making water move a lot faster. So now if you do this repair on this wing wall, part of the problem is is that the water is coming at it head on, or well, pretty much flat on, right? Because it's rushing out. Correct. Would, the, would, the, would there be a way that you can uh, put something in the water uh, that would help channel uh, the flow of water to the center uh, underneath the bridge to reduce the impact of the water against the wing wall? Well, there are, there are geometric changes that could be had that would better that process. However, we do find that DEC is very territorial about any change to the estuaries. And as I was uh, saying to Mr. DiCrincenzo before the meeting, um, I would suggest we start the permitting process as early as possible because what we'd like to do is, is suggest we build the new wing wall in front with a geometric change, thereby you know, relieving us of the expense of shoring and being able to, to build a better wall out in front. But I think we're going to have to do battle with New York State DEC on that one. Okay, well, Mr. Noto is good at that, so we'll get him in there in the, in the battle. <laughs> All right. Um, I, I, I agree with that. I mean, if we're going to invest some time and money into a, pro, into a project like this, we, we better build it better. Yes. Uh, right? And yes. I, I'm sure you wouldn't expect anything less than, uh, than that. It's full tilt. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, so... I'm, I'm on board. Uh, this is uh, this project here. The, this report is solely a report. The permit that correct. we would approve would be, and once we get that permit, it's good for one year, correct? It is. Okay. That's correct. I I agree. Um, permits are going to take us months. Yes. And um, and so it, I I agree with with you, and I have minor knowledge, and I I think that that's a, that's a great step to go forward. Wonderful. Any other comments from the board? Seems to make a lot of sense to me as well. Nope. No comments. Uh, just a comment. No. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate sure. it. Thank you. Thank you. I do have one question about a, a photo on page 21 in the audit group report. Give me one minute. I'll sure. Page 21. Right. It looks like the steel girders are resting on a concrete structure. That's, That's correct. Yeah, at the top of the page. You're right. And yeah. Is it that concrete structure cracked through? Or? There is a crack there, uh, and I don't know how far through, but that would be repaired too as part of the concrete repair. Okay. Right. Because we are, you know, we're going to give this the fine tooth comb, if you would. Mm -hmm. We're going to go through, fix all the steel, fix all the concrete, get epoxy okay. you know, measures and grout. And, and take care of that. But yes, that's part of the concrete cap. Okay. 
the, the bridge was originally built in 1930. It was then reconstructed in 2003. Mm -hmm. And this concrete cap was part of the 2003 construction. Okay. And it was put on top of the old masonry rubble abutment, the original abutment, okay. which still stands in very good shape today. All right. And then the other thing is, um, so are these girders, uh, were they repaired in 2003 as well? These were brand new in 2003. Okay. And you can see in, in less than 10 years what the marine environment has done to them. So do you have a recommendation on how often they should be maintained or painted with zinc, heavy zinc laden paint? Well, that, that's going to depend on the repair. I mean, there, there are corrosive uh, painting elements that we can use that use the rust to your advantage, mm -hmm. and I think they're warranted for 15 years. Oh, okay. So if we can, you know, if we, if we use a product that, that is that high end, and it depends on expenses too, right. uh, we could be looking at 15 years. But obviously, if it's come to this in 10 years, I think the town should be thinking in terms of 10-year maintenance program. Yeah, yeah. Do, do we just out of curiosity because I'm kind of new to this here um, when this job was done in 2003 did we know that we were going to be revisiting this level of maintenance in 10 years do, does anybody know that answer nobody on the board was here at that time but however what I'm trying to do is anticipate when we would need to repair it and we could put a schedule together right since right. we didn't necessarily right. anticipate it now that's what I was wondering right. exactly. so, would you, Why? Could you ask that our finance people to put together a, uh, a to email to the board in the interim? You know, does that, I don't want them to wait for next next month oh. the meeting so that they if they could. You know, I'm sorry, I mean to interrupt. No, I just please. remembered. Uh, I spoke to uh, Dave Burns, uh, and um, part of the part of the part of uh, I don't mean to take away from your time, Mr. Arman. Part of the uh, concern that uh, that Dave had is because we, we we spoke about uh, in the past about working in uh, some of our capital plan into you know a bond okay because if we're going to go if we're going to go for two hundred uh, let's go for three hundred and you know and, and you get a bigger you get some impact here so I think that that's where he was uh, he's looking on on that specifically and I don't know if he has that answer all yet. right so but let's let's I mean he can consult with me or yeah Mr. absolutely Mr. Villanova let's. I want a plan that, that's going to accommodate, uh, that anticipates the, the, the spending needs. here. The yeah, needs the exactly needs right here. Yeah, excellent. Uh, I, mean, I could ask a question. On the same on that same picture on page twenty-one. Was there or are there any tonnage restrictions that might have caused uh, that kind of cracking? I mean, could that have been something where uh, an excessively large vehicle uh, may have caused it? I don't believe so. No, I, originally this was designed for H22, which is in accordance with New York State guidelines. And uh, if you had to rate the bridge today, you would knock that down to an H20. Okay, but uh, no, I think that's just a, probably a control joint or a cracking from shrinkage, and then the marine environment starts getting in there, and you get water in there, and it freezes and starts to spall. And uh, you know, it's just something that you can repair, and it will, you know, it will make it structurally uh, stable. Mr. Nono, do we need uh, do we need to, to do take any formal action? No, to this was informational tonight, right? No, we're, we're, we're looking to go into a permitting uh, phase. Right, so you do, don't need to do anything. Do we need to give permission to the supervisor to? Uh, no, not, good. For the, not for a project like this. No. Okay, but if we do the bonding, though. There'll be a very good. Yeah, Thank I think you. the recommendation would be that we go to construction documents right. and permitting. Yes, at the same time at this stage. Okay. Beautiful. All right, Mr. Rodman, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for coming tonight. Thank, thank you. you. Thank Hope you enjoyed our, 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 our present, our earlier presentation. Very impressive. <laughs> Very impressive. <laughs> Thanks. I wish I could build bridges like that. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Thank okay. you so much. <laughs> thank you. Great. Okay. Uh, Crawford Park Staircase. Now, the, the architect's not here, right? No. Perfect. So we'll just keep it straightforward. Straightforward. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in your packets, you received yep. the final drawings. Yep. Uh, the, I guess, key drawing to look at. Well, actually, is before we get to the drawings, I want to, I'm, I'm more interested in your memo. Uh, so we can, we can we can execute on the construction without disrupting the mansion use. Uh, there'll be about a week or so uh, of disruption. Uh, All right, but only a week. The basic, yeah, the basic demolition has to be done, and the basic what I would call the dividing wall that right. separates the stairway from the kitchen. Yep. Once that's up, everything else runs. You know, 
everything else can run. Meaning, right. and are, the, the upstairs run. rooms are they ready now? Are they all modified? Uh, We've as Mr. I, I, this? Yeah, I inspected the the rooms. Uh, we have uh, one more room to go, which is the vets room, but all of the other rooms have been done. All right, and when will the vets room be done? Um, I would say to you within the next week to ten days. May I? Um, I spoke to so why don't you come give your report? We'll let you go home early tonight. Why don't you, let's see, you give, 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 sorry. Just. Okay. Um, let me just uh, answer your, your question. Yep. I talked yep. to Mr. Ryan Torno today. He got the supplies for that room because we're keeping a generic color. So um, once he goes into that room, has to repair any broken plaster. Um, has to do a couple of, uh, of things that the vets had up there. They had to got to remove, um, you know, then prime it and paint it, and then so it's about a week. It'll take him to do all that with him and Mr. Calavito. Okay. All right. So anyway, let me go to my report. Uh, March 20th to April 17th, um, we removed the snow fence at Wright Town Park and put it away for the season. Notified um, the PD on the vandalism at Wright Town Park Pavilion, a corruption of the first course from the first aid station. Report was taken, um, and the graffiti was removed. Evidently, Rye City um, had the same tag all throughout. You know, you know, the city. So I've been working with the police on that. Um, all the debris and the leaves were removed off the beach for the spring opening. Um, the first aid station, the wooden building next to the uh, Mark's uh, Red Cross building, all that rotted wood was removed and replaced with new wood. Um, <clears throat> we um, removed all the, the old wood decking on that same building and put a synthetic material that has a, a 50 to 100 year um, warranty. So we took care of that because less maintenance. Um, we prime and painted the old chamber bathroom. We prime and painted uh, the office um, and the bathroom next to the large staircase. Um, there's a couple of fine-tuning things we have to still do there, but the majority of it's done. Um, we had a graffiti um, at Crawford Park's uh, garbage enclosure. Um, so we had to take care of that. And we, report was taken by the uh, Rybrook police. We have uh, been watering the trees for the Friends of Crawford Park. Um, we also got the pavilion ready, the bathrooms for, for, the, for the season. Um, we also completed the, the interior of the North Cashier's booth at Wright Town Park and uh, repaired several potholes in the parking lot at Wright Town Park. Great. So, Thanks. Any questions for Mr. Leo? No. Uh, Thank one you. question no, on, the, on the North Cashier's booth. Yes. Was that the, that, that, that pipe, um, what, I'm, what I'm doing now, uh, today I had uh, one of my seasonal staff, there's a, a catch base in the middle of the parking lot that collapsed over the winter. I'm going to, I'm doing that right now, and then when we go up to the north end, because I have to do some cement work outside the structure, mm -hmm. we're going to actually fasten that pole okay. to the ground and get that taken care of. All right, wonderful. Excellent. Thank you very much, Mr. Leo. Thanks for your report. Thank you. We'll let you go home a little early tonight. You have to wait till the end. Thank you. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Okay, Mr. Nowatnik. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Oh. Um, uh, Frank? Yes. Uh, what about the roof in the bathhouse? We, we had one, no, one more contractor. Um, Take a look at it last week. Also, one of my people on staff who has roofing experience in the carpenter, we're going to maybe, what we're going to do, we're going to patch up all the, the holes, as you say, for that have been there in the past, so that way we make the building watertight. Because a couple of contractors are saying it could cost $90,000 to replace the whole roof, and it costs a lot of money. But our concern now is to, to close off any, any leakage in there. We found one leak, we took care of that already. So I'm going to look at this more because of the substantial amount of money it's going to cost the, the, the Wright Town Park Commission or the Town of Wright Board. I mean, the Town of so anyway, we're going to get that taken care of as soon as we can. We're, the flat roof is a no-brainer. We can take care of it ourselves. Mm -hmm. So we're going to just look at what we can repair in-house and what we have to outsource. Um, but there, it, it could cost up to 90000 for the for the roof. For that building. Okay. Well, I think the primary, uh, you know, one of the primary goals should be to stop the water leakage inside the building. Yeah. However, however, we can do that. That just should be done 
as quickly as possible. Oh, it, without a doubt, I have a, a whole list of stuff that we're going to be working on in that building throughout the, the summer to get it taken care of. And that's priority. Okay. Great. Thanks so much, Mr. Leo. Okay. So, so basically, just but I'm just because we don't want to stare to nowhere. Right. So. So the, in a week's time, I understand. Then the, upsta the upstairs will be pristine, recently remodeled, yep. ready to go. Well, the only thing that we have not restored done, to we have one more project to do. All the painting and 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 wall re rehabilitation has been done. We have not redone the floors there, and we already have a contractor lined up. We're just waiting for all of the rooms to be done so we can get them done at the same time and get a better price. Okay, great. So what will this, this not, yeah, I'm sorry, you're not going to want to do the floors until that construction is done anyway? Uh, no, no, the construction will have no impact on any of these rooms. The construction is really at the other end of the mansion. What surface will the stairs be made out of? The stairs will be steel stairs. Uh -huh. And so, when will the when when will the um, when will the floors be done then? As uh, soon as we get them finished, we'll rotate them into the schedule. We can get so, them done in a, in a matter of a couple of weeks. All right. So, in th by next board meeting, we should. I will have an upstairs that I am proud of. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, Bishop, this. Uh, so, what are you, when you come into the uh, into the second floor. What will the floor be in that room? Um, I'm sorry. When you the say this, come into the second right, floor, so the stairs, the stairs come up into the into the second floor, right? Yes. Okay. What? Do you step off onto? What are you stepping off onto? Oh, you're you're going to step off onto whatever the flooring is there. Now she's showing tile there. It's a hallway, though. It's a hall right. It's it's, 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 it's a really a, you're stepping into the hallway. The original flooring. If you're looking at drawing uh, yeah, I'm number looking three, at the number three. Proposed number three. Floor. Okay, you're coming up the stairs. You're yeah. turning around. That is going to be wood flooring, more or less, to match the existing wood flooring in the hallway. Okay. So will we do tile? that all at the same time, then? Tile. Yeah, I think the issue has made a mistake. Okay, so that's going to be the same. What I'm, what I'm also suggesting is that if they're going to be doing work here, I guarantee you they're going to be walking back and forth on this floor. So I'm still going to yeah. make a suggestion that we do not do any floor resurfacing until the project's done. I agree with that. So they, okay. They, they throw down, you know, Unless plywood or, or cardboard to, to walk on when they go in a situation like that. So if that, I don't know if we necessarily have to stop doing work on those floors. That's your, that's your call. Well, if you, if you, we if I could call your attention to one thing, if you look at drawing number three, and you go down that hallway to the left, mm -hmm. understand that you have to go up a little ramp and through a doorway in order to get into any of the rooms that we have just repainted. They are in a separate part of the house. The doorway in that hallway could be closed off during construction. All right, so that that, in other words, nobody can get through that hallway into the four rooms. They do have the main staircase that comes up through the center of the, of the house, center of the mansion. Right. That's the typical way of getting in there. That's the way the chamber used to get right. to their offices. All right. What we're talking about, this stairway, is basically where the servants' quarters. Yeah, I, I know exactly where okay. it is. There's okay. no question about it. I understand it. All right. And this is the plan that I would approve uh, when the time comes. Right. There's no question about it. All I'm just trying to do is mitigate uh, mitigate any. Right. Uh, I, I appreciate that. Then have come back and. Do yeah. a small little patch-up job or yeah. something. That's it. Yeah. Very good. I'm, I'm, I'm in favor of this. Now, the um, when the stairwell comes up to the second floor, yep. onto that what appears to be tile. Yes. What? What's Is there an opening between that tile floor and the stairwell? So if I lean over that stairwell, I can look down onto the stairs? No. No, that's going to be filled in. That's going to be floored, if you will. I don't think that's going to be open to, to so the is bottom. that a banister there, or separating the stairwell from that yeah, tile uh, floor? If, uh, hold on a second. Or is that a wall? Uh, 
it, she, she doesn't show that detail. I was looking at page 7 there, and, and uh, she doesn't show the detail. But there, there has to be a banister by law there. Uh, you cannot have a, a stairway without a banister. You would come up, there would be a landing at the top of the stairs, um, my, and you would then make a left-hand turn. My question, you know, my question, my turn. question is, would it be better to make that a wall up to the ceiling there rather than have an opening over the stairwell from a safety perspective? Well, there's an aesthetic perspective uh, that she brought up, uh, and, and the, uh, as, if you have an appropriate railing, I don't know that you need anything else. Your point is well made that it would be safer if you had a full height wall. And then you can enclose that and maybe use that as an extra storage space. With regards to uh, Councilman yep. Edwards' uh, concern okay. about safety and with regards to the architect's uh, concern about uh, the aesthetics of it, uh, I say I'm sure it's not going to cost anything more. Raise the wall higher than a railing. Mm -hmm. um, I know my kids, if they can stand up on a railing and maybe put their hands on the ceiling, they're going to try to do something. So okay. I agree with Councilman Iores. Anything we could do to make the place more safe uh, for the people that are using it and, and protect the town of Rye, let's do it. And then, and then you might also be able to use that space for some storage as well. Absolutely. Okay. I, I see your point, and, and certainly that's something we could look at. In addition, if there's an event going on on the lower level and they're using that kitchen and then there's people using the upstairs, you know, you, you're not... You throw stuff you down. And falls into the kitchen. Yeah. Well, no, no. Downst downstairs, downstairs, it's, the downstairs it's a solid wall. It's just the second level that's okay. got the right. It's just oh. the well. Again, what she was trying to do there was there's two windows on the second level, and she was trying to provide a, a more airy, like a clerestory. Yeah, that only goes to the tiled floor area. It doesn't go into the hallway or anything in the middle of the. Right. You see the 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 uh, lower wall. That's a wall. Uh, the, the part in the middle there is, is a railing, right. fr from what I can see. Okay. All right, but I, again, we'll have her take a look at the idea of making that into a, some sort of a closet or storage area, because I think that makes a tremendous amount of sense. Okay, great. Sounds good. That's what I'm here for. It makes sense. <laughs> All uh, right. Uh, I did speak with the architect. Uh, she had indicated roughly four to five weeks for the bid process. Uh, the costs are based on what we've seen in terms of the drawings uh, and the uh, engineering work that has to be done in the basement. Uh, she still thinks the costs are on target, somewhere between 65 and 75 k, which is what we had talked. Uh, and again, as we said, about two months for construction. So with that, uh, uh, do I have to come back to you with another set of plans to no. deal with this second floor adjustment? No. Or shall we just tell her to do it and then go no, out to I, bed? I, I, think, I, I think that what we need to do is just communicate it. I don't think we need another okay. set of plans. And I think that as long as everything is in order, uh, you know, I think we're safe in, in communicating. Yeah, barring any problems with that wall going up, right. and, you know, I think we're fine. Yeah, I don't, think there, any, I don't think there are any code issues there. Yeah, okay. uh, I'd like to call your attention to the next to last sentence in, in uh, my memo. Uh, because that is a scheduling uh, concern at this particular point. Uh, summer camp uh, starts at Crawford Park on uh, July 5th. And uh, we wind up using at least two of those nice new rooms that we have oh. upstairs are used by uh, Blindbrook Schools for their special ed program. Uh, in addition... All right, well, so what's the chances of us getting this done before then? I... We'll know in a, in a few days. All right, well, let's just keep us posted. Right? I, I don't want to belabor the point. I know a supervisor car wants to move on, but the yeah. one quick question that I have is that, you know, we these pro these programs at the park have been going on for years. Yes. And they've gone on when, when we've had two of those rooms occupied. So why would, why would they need to use, you know, those two rooms over there? Put them in another room. Let's keep going, no? I, my concern is not so much that we don't, won't have the room usage. We will have the room usage. What I'm concerned about is that having construction going on at the same time that you have kids that are kindergarten age right. on up to middle school and high school. Well, that's so that's so that's let's, well, let's just get it done. I think we're all agreed. Then let's get it done. Well, okay, well. Does he need a resolution then approving the plans and, and uh, uh, authorizing uh, Fisher to do about the bid? 
You know, I'd like to make a motion that we approve the plans uh, and then uh, eventually approve them as modified. Okay. A second. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Great. Thank you, Bishop. All right. All right. Uh, Bill, are you going to do this one or uh, who's well, going to do this uh, one? I'll talk to it, and, and Bishop, if he wants to add anything. Uh, we have a presentation. No, yeah, no, we're not going through the. Uh, you don't want to do no, it? No, no. I, 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 want, I, want, I think if this is. Uh, Deputy Supervisor Villanova's baby he has a. All right. Well, I'll, I think you has an idea what he wants to talk about. I'll, I'll give you. I'll give you the longest. Do you want to go through the presentation or? Uh, it, uh, not oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Just go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. Sorry. Apologize. Sorry. Really yeah. name. Bob. Oh. Sign up. Yeah. 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 They have eye patches. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. These like former convicts or something who are like in security now. Former pirates. Pirates. Is it, you know, that's not exactly what I'm Hey, you know, the good news is with all these cameras in place, we'll be able to get those. those. <laughs> okay. Oh, that should be yeah, better. That was better. Eastern Europe was well, this set right here. Uh, 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 yeah, everything else is fine. These are the two lights that have to How do we find this company? Uh, Did we go out to bid on this? We source. No. We source. We what? We source. What do you mean? There's a lot of different lights. I know, but you, there's a procurement policy. Yeah. Right? So, okay, so. Yeah. So how did, that, we, that's, how did we find them? They were recommended to us. I know, but did we put it out to bid? No, we did not. Okay, so how are we getting to this point? Then? I'll tell you how we're getting to this point. I'm, I'm going to answer this question. We're getting to this point tonight because I've been talking about putting cameras at Rytown Park and at Crawford Park for years. We've had severe vandalism at Rytown Park. That, that's we've, I, fine. Okay, no, we've had, we we've had severe vandalism at Crawford Park. We've proven already that the cameras that are here at 10 Pearl Street caught someone who stole from the, from the, from the uh, court. And I believe in surveillance, I, I believe in, in securing our assets, and so the reason why we're here is that this company here was kind enough to give us the opportunity to see what a system can represent, and then we can go out to bid and, and get this done. But what I don't want to do is put it out to bid, and then we have ten different bids, and none of them are on the same level. So this is, this is something I think that will give us the opportunity of what we can have, and and what and what we potentially can work from. So that's where I am. Yeah. All right. Uh, if I can, I'll just explain that the the overall bid is roughly about fourteen thousand dollars. It includes all of the oh, equipment. It's a proposal. We a haven't proposal. Got out bid. I'm sorry. <laughs> proposal. All right. The, they would install an equipment cabinet in one of our closets. That's kind of a sample of the equipment cabinet. Um, this would be camera number one. It's installed right in the kitchen hallway, uh, in effect, where we're building the stairs. So it would be positioned in such a way to see anybody coming into those new set of stairs. It would also show us the, the um, entrance, if you will, of that particular entrance. Camera two has a, a view of the main floor. It's actually in the main uh, room. Uh, camera three is positioned at the top of the eave on the second floor, and this shows you camera three's view. That's that camera three would view the driveway. Uh, camera four is positioned in the uh, portico, if you will, right off of the solarium, and this is the view that you would see uh, from that camera. All right, camera five, again, is positioned up uh, uh, on the eaves. And camera five would give you a view of the playground area. Camera six is an interesting thing. Camera six is a specially mounted post. You'll see the hedges there. It is positioned uh, at the end of the hedge line in between the current pavilion and the hedges at the back of the mansion. Camera six is also a 360 a camera. So camera six has the ability to uh, uh, view an entire 360 area. You see the ball field in the back already. Uh, this would be another view of camera six. Um, again, it would turn all the way around uh, to be able to show you uh, that entire area. That's the area uh, around the pavilion area. 
again, another view. The, uh, the road adjacent uh, to the ball field, uh, that's where traffic and parking is uh, uh, during uh, the soccer and, and ball games. Um, another view of the fields. Uh, this camera also has a view of the pavilion. This would be the view that we, you would see there, and, and that would be the men's and ladies' rooms on the right.